Greetings, friends. As always, it's an honor to welcome you back to Rick's Garage. I have another one of my brief break videos for you today. What you see before you is an abutment clip for a 2006 Nissan Altima. These abutment clips have these little tangs on them. And a lot of people don't know how to install them or there's so much trouble trying to get them installed that they ignore them. Now I've uh, watched a lot of videos on YouTube and almost nobody installs these things. They usually leave them hanging out. Even those uh, famous uh, 1A guys, you know who I'm talking about. Their videos are usually pretty good and I don't like to disparage other people's videos. I certainly don't like them when people disparage my videos. But they didn't even bother to install these. They just kind of left them hanging loose. So I thought it'd be fun today to do a brief little video showing you how to properly engage these tangs. Now what's supposed to happen, here's one of the pads. This tang is supposed to go inside the wear indicator loop, like so. And then when you install the uh, pad, it acts as a spring. There's two purposes to it it will uh, pull the pad away from the rotor so it's not rubbing the rotor and also it acts as an anti-rattle mechanism now the problem with trying to install these it's very frustrating when you get one side in as soon as you let go of it it pops the pad right out while you're working on the other side so a lot of people just kind of ignore them so i'm going to show you an easy way to install them i've gone ahead and installed the carrier bracket off camera now you want to have your uh, glide pin flats parallel with how your caliper is going to be installed because there's a little flat right here that has to uh, those go up against. So you don't want the round pot like this. You want the flat pot like that. And you want to have your caliper in a position where you can grab it with one hand. The other tool I have here is a small pick, and the reason for the small pick is sometimes these little tabs have to be pressed down in order to get the pad in, so that comes in handy if you have to do that. So I'm ready to install the pad on the outside first. So I've got one in my hand. Now both pads are identical. Both pads are identical, so it doesn't matter which one you grab. And what I'm going to do is put the indicator loop around the tang and I'm going to install that and then I'm going to go down and I'm going to press down on that little uh, thing I just told you about and I'm going to install the other one and I'm going to press it right up against the uh, rotor so this one's installed now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a stubby screwdriver and I'm going to wedge it right in there to hold that in place. So now while that stubby screwdriver is holding this in place, I'm gonna go ahead and install the other side. Okay friends, I added in an extra light so I can see what I'm doing under here. And I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna get this loop inside the uh, wear indicator. And then I'm going to adjust my light so I can see the bottom here. Press that in, and I've got that one in. So now I no longer need the light. So now you have your uh, caliper in position where you can grab it with one hand. So I've got the screwdriver holding the pad in on the outside, and I'm using my fingers to hold the pad in on the inside. And I'm just going to simply put my uh, caliper over it. And uh, once I get that in position now, that's going to hold those pads in. And I no longer need the screwdriver. So it's as simple as that, friends. So now I just got to screw this caliper in. I will do that off camera. But that's the secret to installing those tangs is just use a little stubby screwdriver to hold this side in while you get the other side in and then throw your uh, caliper over it 
and it'll hold everything right in place for you. So that's all I've got, friends. I want to thank you once again for watching Rick's Garage. Before I go, I will post two videos to your left. Hopefully you find them of interest. And to your right, as always, will be a picture of my avatar in the form of my trusty German Shepherd. By all means, feel free to click on that should you wish to subscribe to my channel. So thanks again. We hope to see you all very, very soon.